Hello friends, this is Gaurav, an expert Java trainer. Today, we are going to discuss about Java programming with AWT, that is Abstract Windows Toolkit. There are two types of environments where the user interacts with an application. First, an environment where the user interacts with an application through characters or commands is called CUI, that is Character User Interface. And the environment where the user interacts with an application through graphics or images is called GUI, that is Graphics User Interface. GUI is having better user friendly experience as compared to CUI because user has to remember several commands and their uses with the correct syntax. But in GUI, user has to click some images or graphics. Now, let's start AWT. Java AWT Abstract Window Toolkit is an API to develop applications using GUI or window based application in Java. Java AWT components are platform dependent. That is, components are displayed according to the view of operating system. AWT is heavyweight. That is, its components uses the resources of the system. What is components? A component represents an object which is displayed picturally on the screen. If we see this figure, components are having many classes like windows, frames, applets, panels, etc. In this, what is windows? The window is the container or rectangular area on the screen that have no border and title bar. Frame, the frame is the window that contains title bar and border. Now, let's start how to create a frame. We have to create a frame first before any other component because all other components can be displayed in a frame. There are two ways to create frame by initiating frame class. In this example, there is a class frame test inside main function. We are creating frame, then setting frame size and visibility. Then frame will display like this way. Another one is by extending frame class. In this example, we are extending frame class. Inside this, we are calling super class constructor to store title, then creating a frame with title. After that, set the size and visibility of the frame. Then frame will display like this. This frame can be minimized, maximized and resized, but cannot closed even if we click on a close button of the frame. So, Closing a frame means we need to attach action to the component. For this, we will look into events and listeners. Performing some actions like click on the button, clicking like this is called event. An event represents a specific action done on a component. When event is generated on the component, the component will not know about it because it cannot listen to the event. To let the component understand that an event is generated on it, we need to add some listeners to the components. A listener is an interface which listens to an event coming from a component. A listener will have some abstract methods which we need to be implemented by the programmer. The flow will be when an event is generated by the user on the component, the event is not handled by the component. On other hand, the component sends the event to the listener attached to it. The listener will not handle the event, it hands over this event to an appropriate method. Finally, these methods is executed and the event is handled. All listeners are available in java.awt.event package. The most suitable listener to the frame is window listener. It can be attached using add window listener method as f.addWindowListener parameter is window listener object. Please note that window listener is an interface. It is not possible to create object to an interface. We need to create an object to the implementation class of the interface and pass it to the add window listener method as f dot add window listener parameter is new my class. These are the following methods are found in window listener interface. These methods are window activated, window closed, window closing window deactivated, window deiconified, window iconified, window open. So this is all about frame creation. Now 
how to close frame for closing the frame the body of this method is executed and application get closed in this way we can handle the frame closing event next is window adapter as we have seen that we need to write all the methods of window listener interface even if we are using one method this is a drawback in window listener interface to overcome this problem we can use class window adapter in java.awt.event package that contains all the methods of the window listener interface with an empty implementation we need not write all the methods with empty implementation we can write only that method which is required one of the important method paint method which is available in component class which refreshes the frame contents automatically when a drawing is displayed this method is useful whenever we want to display some new drawings or text or images in the frame the paint method is automatically called when frame is created and displayed the most important class is graphics class graphic class of java.awt package has the following methods which help to draw various shapes first is draw string which is used to draw the specified string next is draw rect which draws a rectangle with the specified width and height another one is fill rect which is used to fill rectangle with the default color and specified width and height another one is draw oval is used to draw oval with the specified width and height this is fill oval is used to fill the oval with the default color and specified width and height this is draw line method which is used to draw line between the points x1 y1 coordinates and x2 y2 coordinates another one is draw image is used to draw the specified image then draw arc which is used draw a circular or elliptical arc and this is fill arc which is used to fill a circular or elliptical arc next is set color which is used to set the graphics current color or specified color another one is set font which is used to set the graphics current font to the specified font so this is all about java programming with awt thank you for watching my video please keep watching my more videos to learn java in a easy way you can send me an email for any query to my email id go for elearning@gmail.com thank you